you guys won't believe this, but I swear. My first high school party. Kid no one likes his house to himself for a weekend. Everyone thinks it over and decides for themselves I'm gonna go to that place. And I'm gonna fucking destroy it. Go, literally everyone I've ever met is there, everyone drinking like a meteor is about to hit the world. Complete anarchy, hundreds of people and no one older than 17. No idea where all of the alcohol came from but it's endless. Saw a dude fuck a sink. Saw another dude fight the TV, not like punch it or knock it over, but fucking WWE Pro wrestles that shit for 10 minutes. Some chick can't handle herself and freaks, says she's gonna call the cops so some other chick knocks her the fuck out. Things are getting intense I'm standing in the kitchen with any beer when... A. Dear. Crashes through the fucking glass door. A big fucking retarded deer just blasts into this house. House full of absolutely fucked up white teenagers. Complete tucking pandemonium. Some people scatter, some guys try to wrestle the thing and get destroyed. Deer is just wigging the fuck out and smashing into everything in the house. Some chick stabs it in the side with a kitchen knife. It's already fucked up from the door. Bleeding like crazy all over the house, people are getting knocked the fuck out, pandemonium times two. Right about now the cops show up. House looks like the aftermath of a fucking civil war battle. Piss, shit, blood, and broken bodies everywhere. Right about now is where I made my exit. Heard that the cops had to shoot the deer. It set a pretty high bar for the rest of my partying life. Go to buy some weed. Dealer invites me up for dabs. Tells me just a heads up, I have a gun out. No problem man I grew up with guns. Walk up to his apartment. Don't know what to talk about, ask him what type of guns he has. Uh I have a 9mm pistol I don't know the brand. A cadab and buy my weed. I'm just now realizing that it was a threat, not a concern over whether or not I was comfortable around guns. Guys I need help bad. Be me. Porny, 26M in a relationship. GF doesn't always put out so I rub one out when I can. Always have the same ritual. Open Google and bust into papertowel.gif. One day. Couple months ago, still remember it clear as day. Bust into pape and see my dog staring at me. Get the cursed unholy idea to let my dog sniff it because he's a dog and likes to smell things. He takes two whiffs and immediately starts licking IT off. I feel so fucking bad and weird but also wonder why he did that? FFW a few months. Have been giving my dog my seed and paper towels on and off consistently for a while now. Anytime I jerk off and don't give him my paper towel he'll tear up the trash can and leave a mess of all the tissues and paper bits on the ground. How to train Popo to stop I just want my good boy back. Be me. Move back to Poland. Have English lessons even though I'm more fluent than the teacher. Teachers going round asking everyone the same question. What do you hate? It's my turn. Teacher asks what do you hate? And on? Don't say it, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it. I confidently and loudly say minorities. Pick related. Be me 15 minutes ago. Currently like 40 degrees in Australia. Wearing only my boxer shorts. Blanket over my shorts with legs and upper body hanging out so I'm basically naked. Knock on the door. Come in I say, thinking it was a family member. 11 out of 10 opens the door. Quite audibly say who the fuck are you? She's the real estate agent coming to check the windows. She grins and closes the door. This was not a good grin brothers. I don't feel comfortable in my own house anymore. She's definitely going to tell her Stacy and Chad friends about this at a Christmas party. Parents make me go to a therapist because I shat in the shower again. Set completely still and make direct eye contact the entire time. Answer all of his questions with a question. At the end I shake his hand and look into his eyes. He looks away. Is this what power feels like? <laughs>